How's it going, everybody? It's Carlo Pascal here from Breakout Sports Broadcasting. Welcome back to another highlight montage from our games this hockey season. This one is filled with all the best Widener clips from our six games we streamed for them this year. If you tune into any of those streams or have gone back and watched any of the games, thank you for doing so. Thanks again. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one and enjoy. It's rimmed back out to the point. Wilson shot through traffic, gets blocked there by a Pride member. Off the side of the net again, and a great transition save from Haworth as he's able to prevent his team from going down 3 0. It's essentially a must kill penalty for them if they want to stay in this, and it's won there by Fontaine, but he lost it. Now taken by Mackley, who's trying to skate down the far end. Mackley looking for it. He scores! What a snipe! Danny, there from Danny Mackley. Danny Mackley scores short handed, and just like that, the Pride are on the board. What a beautiful shot there. Weiner just trying to get it out. Now here comes Conway trying to beat out the icing and he will. Great effort there from Fontaine. And it comes back to Wines. Wines right there and it's in! Took a funny bounce in front. Wines I think is gonna get the credit for the goal. As he outskates a couple of retrievers, finally loses the puck but it's brought it and kept in the zone there. Right in front, they score again! And I think that was Wines who put it in the back of the net right from the blue line. A long range shot and Widener's got their first lead of the weekend. And that's actually Wines who tipped it in from the slot there. The shot from Kennedy at the blue line was able to create that chance. Able to get it across to Bonsall. He feeds it back across. Looking in front, Catalo there on the redirect and he scores again. Catalo with his fourth of the game. He'll get the Baker's hat trick for that. Second of the period, fourth of the game, like you said, sick officially his fifth of the night. Catalo looking for his fourth or his fifth of the night already with 11.34 to go in the period. Catalo winds up, tees a shot, and he scores! What a blast from the point from Catalo, and it's goal number five of the game. If a Susquehanna player was in there, but 30 seconds to go in the first period. Now a two on one back to the direction. Catalo and Wines in on Susquehanna. Catalo scores! Bobby Catalo pulls the arrow back and fires it. And it's 1 0 here on the lucky 13th shot of the game for Widener. Catalo back the other way, has a little bit of space in on Farrell, trying to get through a couple of Riverhawks. Backhands one, he scores! A nifty backhanded bar down shot, and it's a 7 2 game for Catalo's second of the night. Man, I wish we had reaction cams up here. That was a filthy goal. Widener will win the draw and it's a successful cleat or a kill for the Pride. And a big hit right between the dots. And no penalty called on the play. Icing will stop it. 15 seconds to go in the penalty. Now Lacane looking for options right in front. Couldn't get Bonzo. Bonzo looking for Lacane and he scores! First game back and he's on the board here. Short-handed goal for Charlie Lacane and it's 1-1 with 53 seconds to go. He is brought down, no call on the play as he lost an edge. Simchik off of it, right in front. Sweeney looking for it, a huge save! Ryan Sweeney, you are not from this planet! As the, as the cage comes off the moorings. Back over to Berndorf, but it's cleared out of the zone. No, Lacane will hit it off. Compton there at the blue line. Now Bonzo back the other direction. Has Ogborn on the right side. He can't get it. That one from Wines. He scores! An early goal less than a minute in and Wines hits one for the high slot and scores. Yeah, just not a whole lot of puck luck here as back at the zone. Uh, Bonzo with it trying to tie this game up. He gets it to Poole and he scores! Jacob Poole. An amazing shot there from the right circle. And just like that, this game is retied. Brand new ball game here with 2.40 to go in the first period. Menta now fighting for it in the corners. Knocked off his skates there. Bonzel with a great hit. Actually, that was Fontaine who knocked off Pastorino off of his skates. At center ice, up to Lacane. Both these teams wanting this intermission to come and come fast as Bonzel right at the doorstep. He scores! 
Damon Bonsall off the floor, on the board, and makes it a one goal game in the second period. They get one on, they couldn't do it. Two on one as Gilbert was able to break that off. Now Bonsall the other direction. Bonsall's already got one tonight. In on, he scores! Damon Bonsall, two goals straight to tie things in. 10 seconds or 50 seconds into the period, and with 28 to go, it's a tie game for his second of the evening. Lacane waiting for it, now he'll set up on his horse. Trying to set the tone here, in on Bell. Lacane in on net, he scores! What a beautiful dangle there! And Charles Lacane is on the board again. So it's Jimmy Wines, the man who got the goal scoring, started in the first period, the first minute of the game, looking to end things here in the shootout. Wines in on Bell, he scores! Jimmy Wines, huge senior night, wow! And he comes right over to the fence and Wines bookends this game score. The opening goal a minute in and seals the deal at the end of it. What a moment there for Wines. What a moment there for, for Widener and for all the seniors as they go home happy with the shootout win securing the victory here on senior night.